Okay, so in this one we're trying to approximate the area under the curve of this equation. So we have to graph it, and when you graph it, it looks like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three. Looks like this. And since it's less than and greater than or equal to, they're closed dots in the ends. And we're using midpoint rectangles. So we're going to start by drawing uh, midpoints. And since there's how many different things? Let's see. There is three different sections. Because it says three, it says to break into three equal parts. So to break it into three equal parts, um, between one, two, three, four, five things. Five divided by three. So um, two, like one and two thirds of a thing is split up. So one and two thirds would be about here. But don't draw it to the all the way up. Um, that's one third. Two, uh, two thirds would be here, and then the rest. So since they're midpoint rectangles, you're going to draw those lines up. And then, so the midpoint between that, so midpoint between that would be somewhere in here. So here's the midpoint of that one. So we're going to go up to the midpoint on both sides and back down. And for the midpoint on this one, it would be right in here. So midpoint touches the graph there. We're going to go like this. And on this one, the midpoint would be right in here. So we'll go up and over to that one. So there's your midpoints. And to find the midpoint um, of this one, you're going to want to use, um, you're going to put it's negative 6, which is the same as negative 18 over 3. And this one is negative four and one third or negative thirteen thirds. So when you combine those you get negative thirty one thirds. So your midpoint equals four point six seven six. Um, to write this in summation notation, you're gonna put it I'm gonna do it right here. We'll just look like this. Um, X starts at zero and it goes to two. Um, you put the five thirds right here, that one half of your five thirds X minus whatever your midpoint was, which is. 31 over 3 plus 4, that's all squared, plus 1. So this is your summation notation equation right there.